So now what we want to do is actually update the way the creating post or editing post looks. Um, we get this HTML preview, which is kind of cool that um, by default, this package allows us to see this HTML preview. But actually doing this HTML preview is not that hard for us to do. And instead of just having this markdown preview, we might want to see a full preview of what the post might generally look like with the exception of the image itself. That, that gets a little bit more complicated or at least the uploaded image itself. Instead, we're gonna do our own preview of this HTML here as well as the title. And we're gonna do that right there on the form. So while you're typing, you can actually see this stuff happen. Now we're gonna be doing it with jQuery. There are other libraries that are made in JavaScript that would allow this to happen too. Um, but we're just gonna be doing it with jQuery because it's really not that complicated to do. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is actually change the form and how it's rendered itself. So let's go ahead and jump into Sublime Text. And we're gonna go into our form here. And this is post form, of course. And all we wanna do is add show underscore preview equals to false. And now if we do that, we refresh in here, we no longer see that image. It's actually the form itself is no longer previewing anything whatsoever. Um, so now that we've got that, let's actually jump into the form HTML. And we're gonna add a new div class in here. So div class of column small six. And we're gonna close that off. And we're gonna add an H1 in here and say preview and close that one off as well. And then we're gonna get rid of this column small offset three. Save that, we refresh in here. And now we've got the preview and the form. So it's, it's just nice and in the middle for us. And what we wanna do here as well is add a new div. And I'm just gonna add a class. This is not necessary, but we're just gonna call it content preview. And then I'm gonna close that div off. And then I'm gonna add two more things in here, which I'm gonna do a, first off, I'll do an H3 tag for the title, and I'll give that an ID of preview dash title. And then we'll close off that H3 tag, and then we'll give paragraph ID of preview dash content. And we'll close off that paragraph as well. So we need jQuery to monitor these forms. So when we actually type stuff in it, or if there's already something in there, we wanna grab what's in there and bring it over into our preview. So the first thing that we'll do is just grab what's in there and bring it over into our preview. So let's go into base.html and remember we call it preview title and preview content. So those are gonna be the targets. So um, the targets are preview content and preview title. So these are the targets but we have to get them from somewhere, which will be the inputs, so the sources. So if I inspect the element on title, I see that we've got input ID title equals to ID underscore title. Now that's actually expected. So when Django re renders forms themselves, it's gonna go off of the field name and it'll say ID underscore field name. So ID title, ID, excuse me, ID underscore title, ID underscore content, ID underscore image, and so on. And that could all be validated by going inside of the source itself and seeing the ID for those things. So since we have now the actual um, sources, we can use those sources as a selector. So using the selector, we use dollar sign um, hash because it's an ID, or it's a ID. So we'll do ID underscore title, and we'll just value. We'll just get the value of that, and I'm going to set it to a variable of title value equals to that, and let's just console log that. So console log the title value. And if I refresh in here and go into console, I now see new image post, new image post, perfect. That's exactly what we wanna see. But of course, we don't want title value. Instead, we just wanna get the title item, and I'm just gonna call it title item. And instead of using value, we'll just use that. So it's really just the selector itself. So since we have that item, we can also set the other item. So we can actually change it to what we want it to be. So in the case of setting it on our preview, that's what we're gonna do here. And all I'm gonna do is use the dollar sign again and dot, and excuse me, ID preview title dot value equals to title item dot value. So we're just taking the title item value, which is the selector, and then we're putting it into the preview title. And if we refresh in here, oops, we got title item, title value. There we go, let's get rid of this. We don't need the console log anymore. 
Uh, that was title value not defined, and that's because we did a console log there. And if I refresh in here, it doesn't look like it's coming through. So let's change it to value from value to text, and we'll refresh, and there we go. Um, so text is a more accurate description, or it's actually what you would use to replace some sort of text. You could also use HTML. Uh, value would be true if it was an input. So if it was another input, you could use you would use value instead of text. Okay, um, which could be just tested with input ID equals to preview title. And we'll just do that. Comment this out, or actually, I'll just add preview to refresh. And now it's not working as we see. So going back into base and calling it value, we refresh in there. Now it's working. Okay, so just wanted to show you that because that little error is something that is a good learning opportunity. Okay, so back to what we had, new image post. We've got the ID here now, and now we need the content. So we need to do the same thing. So back in a base, we are gonna copy this and do the same thing for content. And all we need to do is change the content stuff. So content, and then content, and content item. And finally, content item. There we go, refresh in here, and it's not coming through because of a minute, a spelling error. There we go, content's showing up. Um, and we actually want this to be marked down. So we want it to be a preview of markdown, right? So let's go ahead and use marked of that value. So we just add marked here, save that, refresh, and it's showing HTML. So instead of text, we call this HTML. Refresh in there, and boom, it actually comes through. Um, cool, so that's kind of nice, but this is not gonna update automatically, right? So if I type in something new here, it doesn't change. It's just loading based on a previous form, right? So we're actually editing stuff uh, on a previous form. So what we wanna do now is create a function that allows us to do this, right? So I'm gonna first off do it with the content, and I'm gonna make a function called set content, and it's gonna take in value as an argument, so one argument, so the content, we'll see how this works in just a second, but um, now I'm gonna do var, and I'll say marked content equals to marked, and that's gonna be the value. So whatever the value is being passed here, we're gonna make markdown content here, and then we're gonna set that preview content to the HTML marked content again, just like this, and marked content, Okay, so nothing is a whole lot different here, except this is now a function that's gonna take in a value. So for us to set this content now, we are gonna get rid of this and just do set content, and it'll be content item dot value. All right, so it's a virtually the same thing as we had. Refresh in here, again, it's not showing up. But now what we can do is actually run more one more thing in here, and that is the dollar sign using preview content and then space img, and then we could just do dot each and run a function that's gonna update the images. So this dot add class and image dash responsive. Save that, refresh, and boom, there we go. So that's actually setting that content, that's good. That's, that's exactly what we want it to be like. Um, so this is a good start, but it's not really showing us the full um, object like what we want to do is have it actually update dynamically so the actual item is going to be coming off the content right so we got it off of the input so this is really instead of content item it probably should be called content input and we're going to change the other one to content input refresh make sure that's happening um, so with content input we can actually run a, a method called key up so we'll do content input dot key up all lowercase function and I'm just gonna first off console log this dot value so we can see what's going on so I refresh in here I press enter notice I'm pressing enter and all these things are coming through like it's actually logging what I'm typing every single time um, so that just means that this could be simply replaced with set value so var new content equals to this.value and instead of console logging it we are going to do set content and new content save that refresh 
refresh our page and we've got a syntax error. Oh, needs a parentheses right there. Refresh again and now we type hi there. It's now giving us a dynamic update on the content itself, just like what we had before, but now it's based on what we want to see. Um, and as far as the title is concerned, it's very similar to this. In fact, it's virtually identical to this, um, but I'm not going to make the most powerful function. Instead, I'm just going to make another function called set title to give you some practice. So value, it's going to take the value again, and this time it's going to just set the preview title to that value. So we'll say set preview title value, or excuse me, text not value is taking the value. All right, so let's actually move this title down a little bit and put these things together. So cut this out. And now instead of just doing this, we will instead do set title. And this is title item dot value. And again, we should probably call it title input because it is the actual input. It's an HTML input. So we'll use that title input dot value. There we go. We refresh. Uh, it's still doing the same thing, which is exactly what we want to see. And then again, title input dot key up. And we run that function again. And we set the new content. So I'm going to go ahead and copy what we did before. New content instead of set content is now going to be set title and we refresh and new title post and whatever, and then whatever. As far as markdown is concerned, create that post. It takes us exactly like what we want to see. Again, it's not taking all of the fields, but it is taking uh, the key ones here. And so it's previewing it how we would like. And we could make our actual preview just a little bit more you know, styled closer to what it will actually look like um, with the final look, but that's not something that we really need to spend a whole lot of time on. But really, this is just a dynamic way to do it. Now, something like this is pretty cool, but it is much more better executed in something called Angular JS. Um, so that is something that you might want to look into if you want to have your whole site run a lot more like this. But as far as J jQuery is concerned, this is a decent preview for us. And if we test it out on create, we also have this as well. So we're doing a uh, new item. You know, we can we can do all sorts of things in here as far as previewing how this is going to come out um, in real time with the um, creating post as well, right? As expected. There we go. So if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.